18th February 1919, 8.46 p.m. At Bargunda in Giridi was born a great seeker to Chandrakanta Mitra and Pramodini Devi. Sri Shudin Kumar Mitra. The beautiful surroundings of Giridi nurtured the growth of young Shudin's spirituality. His upbringing instilled in him the yearning to serve the poor and needy. In 1930, after the death of his father, he moved to Choriya with his family and from there to Kolkata in 1932 in a house near Bidon Street. He enrolled in Scottish Church School and later in Scottish Church College. An excellent orator, writer and organiser, Shudin Kumar's heart was fired with the zeal of patriotism. While a student, he gathered his peers to felicitate Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose. And throughout his life, Shudin Kumar was an ardent admirer of Rabindranath Tagore. But how could he stop the waves of divine thoughts engulfing his mind? He started performing rituals in the cremation crowd. At this time, he met a highly powerful and realized seeker, Nagendranath Chattopadhyay, Nagen Thakur. For three years, he followed the tantric path. Now, Shudin Kumar was eager for his diksha. A night in 1941. Tomorrow, the diksha will happen from Nagen Thakur. An impatient Shudin Kumar could hardly sleep. Suddenly, a divine light fills the window. Slowly, Adhyama herself manifests before the overwhelmed young man and gives him Mantra Diksha. The seeker receives a new life. With Adhyama's mantra in his heart, he starts on his way to serve mankind. But his destined path was that of a sannyasin amidst the family life. So, Shudin Kumar joined the Central Excise in April 1943. For the next few decades, his professional duties took him like a traveller across the country. His secular and fearless outlook took shape during this period. He observed Roja with Muhammad Habib and his mother from Silet and read the namaz. He also attended the church, singing hymns and praying with Mr. and Mrs. Phillips of Danapur. At the same time, his heart cried out at the condition of the poor and hungry in the country. Their plight and his own grinding family life made Shudin Kumar appeal to the mother. And one day, she answered by saying, You have not been born to be a family man. You are a sannyasi at heart. Look around you, at the helpless people crying out for deliverance. Give them refuge. Give them diksha. Give them realization. The seeker found his path and started giving diksha from 5th September 1951. He also started serving people irrespective of their caste or religion. He hated unrighteousness in the name of religion and hypocrisy in the name of worship. Religion without work is nothing but blasphemy. One can never receive the mother's blessings or see her by only spending time in a closed room and performing rituals. He wanted people to come together and serve others. So, on the auspicious day of Mahalaya in 1966, he established Matri Shangho in Allahabad. In 1977, Shudin Kumar took voluntary retirement and engaged himself completely in the service of humanity. In 1979, Matri Shangu became Matri Shangu Janakollan Ashram, with him as the Guru of the Order. In Bengali, man is Manush. The first syllable of Manush is Ma, meaning mother. Hence, the path to the Divine Mother lies only in the service of man.
and he embraced countless suffering people with love and servitude. Sometimes taking dreaded diseases on his own body to heal his beloved disciples. Hearing the plea of a devoted son, the Divine Mother instructed in 1977 to establish a temple in the area between Hedua in Kolkata and Nokula Shortala in Kalighat and place Addama there. Work began in earnest and Matri Shongo Janakollan Ashram was created at Chakraberia in Bhawanipur, a place that is today a pilgrimage for many, many people. The sacred altar of this ashram is a wonderful example of the Congress of Religions. Along with Adhyama, Radha Krishna and the Shivalinga are inscribed teachings from the Quran Sharif around which Jesus, Buddha, Mahavir, Hanuman and Guru Nanak bless us with their sacred presence opening the eyes of a blind world to secular living. During this time was established the Matrishanga Janakollan Ashram at Hakimpara in Shiliguri. His literary pursuits too continued unabated. The bi-monthly magazine Matribani and various books on his wonderful life spread his name far and wide. He had a tremendous love for music and believed in spreading divine words through it. No wonder so many stalwarts from the world of music have prospered in his company. It was time to leave the tattered raiment of the body. On 2nd February 1984, in the presence of his disciples, the soul of this great child of the Divine Mother merged with the realm of joy. He who was one, became countless. Today, the spirit of this great karma yogi continues to inspire us. He used to say, first do something for mankind and then bow to your guru. Even today, Matri Shongo Janakullan Ashram is regarded as a glorious example of service to mankind. Scholarships, affordable treatment, education, vocational training, blood donation, Relief work still form the main objectives of this order. Today, the feet of this eternal soul are constantly washed by the love and devotion of his countless disciples around the world. He wanted to see a society free of superstition. The only mantra of his life was service, service, and service. By bringing his Adhyama amongst us, Shudin Kumar has left this mantra for us that will show the coming generations their rightful path, a path that is adorned with the divine footprints of the Mother and the eternal life story of one of her dearest sons. Mangala Mangali Shive Sarvart Sadhike Sarane Trambake Gauri Narayani Navaskute Om Sisti Stiti Vinasanam Sakti Bhute Sanatani Gunasray Gunamay Narayani Lovastute Om Saragata Didata Paritra Laparayade Sarvasati Hare Devi Narayani Lovastute Om Narayani Lovastute